G'day YouTube people. Yes, another video on worksite detours. So over the last couple of months, I've done a number of videos showcasing good detours and really bad detours and trying to explain what makes a good detour from the perspective of, of cyclists and what makes a bad one. Well, today we're going back to the new Causeway Pedestrian and Cyclist Bridge project. There's the bridge in green going across the river. And uh, we're going to have a look, a quick look at two of the detours and then um, a more in-depth look at a third one, which I haven't really covered yet. So, uh, yeah, I started with a coffee at a bookshop cafe, and then um, I'm going to run through the three detours, uh, one after the other, just so you can, you know, get some basic points from them. So, um, good signage here. I really like the way they've put in the uh, boom gates here. I actually rode back and forth through here a couple of times, and you can see in that time, uh, there were a couple of guys there monitoring progress of some work going on there and yeah another bunch of them so <laughs> that that uh, worksite detour I think is great they've put in this temporary path um, you know which is a nice smooth concrete path which is better than some of the paths with permanent paths which have been built in Sydney in the last couple of years and Canada Bay Council I'm looking at you so yeah that's pretty good then we come to our second detour in Harrison Island in the middle of the river and again, this is a good detour where they've constructed a new concrete path and they've built this nice big um, uh, tarmac slab out uh, here for trucks to pull in so they can, you know, get across here safely. And I've got to say, all the traffic control people that I've seen at these detours in the last couple of days have been really happy and friendly. Wave, smile, say good day. Um, these guys are sweeping the path. And as I went past, I said, I, you know, you missed a spot and, you know, we all had a laugh and that kind of thing. So just really interesting that the difference in outlook that some of these people have got, I guess, where it's a happy work site or a well-designed work site or a safe work site, the workers are happy, you know, they're smiling at everyone and saying day and all that kind of thing. Anyway, here's our third work site over on the left. They've cleared a lot of shrubbery behind the fences there, and uh, they're going to close this path off, I think, in the near future. Uh, so you can see they've created, again, a work pad there. And what I really like about this, see that line of cones they've put across there? That absolutely says to anyone driving in and out, that is closed. So it's not as big a pad as they've done in the Harrison Island one. But you can see anyone driving in there is going to see, you know, I can't go through here. Compare that to the half assed road closure they've done out at the Bayswater Station project, which doesn't actually stop drivers from driving, you know, through the road closed signage and then <laughs> driving in the bike lane, endangering cyclists. So yeah, this project, uh, I think they're yeah, first class. It's, you know, gold standard. Uh, okay, so that's just um, having a look at uh, the detour as it stands. And um, we're gonna, I'll go back through this another couple of times because uh, as we go through here, um, I'm gonna turn left and then go under the causeway as if I'm heading towards uh, the Burswood Casino and uh, Claysbrook and stuff like that. But you can see, look, lots of cones, lots of signage, really clear signage, big signage. You know, you really can't miss a lot of this stuff. Again, what do they put down here? They've laid a temporary concrete path, wide, high quality, well marked. You can see they've got temporary lighting stands uh, around the place. Now, they've also got signage warning um, as you approach that bike hire place that you might see people walking back and forth across there. You've got to take it easy going through through here because you might clobber someone walking out of the bike shop as you come around a blind corner. Uh, but, you know, this is just really well done. And I think what's going to happen is the next stage of the detour, that, that kind of yellow ramp you can see in front, uh, we're going to be riding up and down there by the look of things uh, within the next week or two, I guess. So... Uh, you know, they, they just seem to be doing a good job with the maps, the signage, the temporary paths, um, the the pleasantness of the traffic controllers, the size of the signs, the clarity of the signs, the fact that there's nothing blocking the signs. There's, you know, they've put them in such a place where you can they're really easy to see. It's easy to uh, work out where you're supposed to be going if you need to turn somewhere. The signage is really clear and there's, you know, there's heaps of it. And they've really thought this thing through and I think they've tested it. So again, here you can see a sign there saying, look both ways, two-way traffic. So yeah, if some tourist has hired a, one of those four-wheel bikes, don't run into them as uh, you're going across here. Again, nice wide concrete path. Um, 
and you know warning signs to stop because you might have vehicles going back and forth into the uh, the gates here and and when you get to this t-junction look both ways because you're going to have pedestrians and cyclists uh, going to and from the bridge as well so first class effort well planned uh, well designed and I think they've gone through and you know, probably ridden back and forth uh, through it as well to check that it works because it does work. These things don't work by magic. Uh, you know, you, you really have to um, work at this to make sure uh, it's it's safe and effective and all that kind of thing. And yeah, you can see why they're replacing the bridge. That's a crummy path there at the moment. So anyway, what can we learn from uh, this project and the detours? Well, there's just so much good stuff about it. But you know, one thing the Bayswater mob could take away is just the use of cones like that to actually, you know, block uh, the the road to say that it's closed, and yet, you know, maybe get some people on that are uh, happy and cheerful as well.